Millions of people live in our inner cities and experience the problems of urban life on a daily basis. But for millions of others, poverty, homelessness, disease, drug addiction, and lack of opportunity are stories from another place, problems which belong to other people. The Henry Street Settlement and United Parcel Service have found a way to tackle this discrepancy of experience with their Community Internship Program, established in 1968. UPS assigns 14 to 16 of their managers to live for one month at the Henry Street Settlement in New York City's Lower East Side. The managers leave their homes, their families, and all that is familiar to them. My name is Glenn Mahamra. This is where I live. This is my little patio. This is my daughter's play fort. I actually live in Hendersonville, Tennessee, which is a suburb of Nashville. I spend most of my time out here in the garden planting flowers and watching them grow. When I mentioned to people that I was going to be staying on the Lower East Side, I kind of got a response from most of them. So I was um, excited, anxious, and nervous all at the same time. The Henry Street Settlement was started over 100 years ago by a nurse named Lillian Wald to provide health services to the Lower East Side's predominantly Jewish East European community. Through the years, Hispanics, African Americans, and Asian Americans joined the neighborhood. Today, the Henry Street Settlement has 10 sites and 25 programs, from daycare to home care for the elderly. They serve over 25,000 people annually. In response to the Civil Rights Movement and subsequent passage of the Civil Rights Act of 1964, UPS decided to join forces with the Henry Street Settlement to create the Community Internship Program. The program reflects UPS's desire to diversify its workforce and increase management's understanding of and sensitivity to employees from different racial and cultural backgrounds. One of the things I've noticed with the UPS managers who I've gotten to know is they're very quick problem solvers. And when they work with their labor force, my impression from what they tell me is they make very quick decisions. They move people around. They decide what to do with packages, they problem solve. And when you behave that quickly, you can overlook people's differences. And so what we try to do is enhance their fund of knowledge. The interns spend two days a week participating in the Henry Street Settlement programs. There you go, and push it way in. For instance, Sherry Lewis and Vicki Wickware helped with the daycare program. So every day you can come out here and look at your plants. Tom Boney and Glenn Mohammeda were assigned to the Urban Family Center, which provides temporary shelter for homeless families. From the moment we walked in, their eyes light up and they, they come running to us and they just, they're hanging all over us because they just don't have anybody like us and their family to turn to. Okay, then what you're going to be called in for is two interviews. Skip Wendell and Robert Keske taught unemployed youth the skills they need to get a job. They showed them how to fill out applications, write resumes, and went through interview technique preparation, including videotaped mock interviews. You've not graduated. Um, are you currently in the GED system or looking to get yeah, your... I'll wait for my tests to come in so I can go take my tests. They almost don't trust themselves they don't trust the person they're talking to. And it's very hard to explain to them that, you know, there are employers out there that, believe it or not, do pay you every week. There are employers out there that do take care of their employees, that, uh, that uh, not everybody is, is trying to you know, get a leg up on an individual at the expense of that individual. Because of the partnership, more than 20 youth from the Henry Street Youth Employment Center have been hired by UPS in the last three years. Thank you. All right. The other three days of the week, the UPS interns visit government and social service agencies throughout New York City. Among the places the interns visit is the Incarnation Children's Center, a residence for children with AIDS. We got a ride there, did we? For me to look in those little faces and realize that short window of time 
that they'll be here on earth is going to be surrounded by pain and suffering. And if, uh, and I, I can tell you, when I go back to Nashville, Tennessee, that's one of the things that, that, that I will get involved with. This equal partnership between the Henry Street Settlement and United Parcel Service benefits both participants. On the simplest level, for us, it's an opportunity year after year to sharpen our presentation to the world. And there's, there's nothing like a group of UPS managers coming from all over the country as an audience to interact with us around our message, what it is we're trying to do. So we immediately get, I think, almost instant feedback as to are we translating, are we translating what it is that we're trying to do. And, and in our society, I think, unless there's a general understanding around the nature of some of these problems, then it's never going to change. Uh, on another level, UPS has always been incredibly generous with their expertise, their time. UPS helped set up a mail pre-sort business which employs people in the homeless shelter. A UPS intern taught computer skills to home care administrators. As part of this expanding partnership, some local UPS employees are beginning to take over where the interns leave off. UPS has replicated this program at St. Margaret of Scotland in Chicago, the University of Tennessee in Chattanooga, in East Los Angeles, and in South Texas. Over the years, more than 1,000 UPS managers have been assigned to the Community Internship Program. Well, I believe that we have many different kinds of people at UPS, and we have got to learn how to respect each other and help each other. I've never really been exposed to an area like this, and, you know, coming down here and, and living down here for the last month and seeing what some of these kids go through, uh, it really changes your outlook and it makes you realize um, that there are good kids in these neighborhoods. And what we need to try and do, I believe, is get to the kids. The message I'm going to bring back is that, you know, it's not somebody else's problem. I mean, it's our problem. It's society's problem. I thought every corporation did this, only to understand that they don't, that if you get all the corporations involved, the one or two that I may help may become 10 or 20 or 30 or 40 if you get more people involved. But the key is to go back and what can I do in my, my own community. The ability to do this I don't think is unique to Henry Street. We just had the opportunity, it was a marriage of our expertise with a desire on the part of a corporation to do it. I don't think it's a program which is tremendously hard to replicate in terms of uh, its content. I think there has to be a will and, an, and, a, and a sense on the part of a corporation that this really is important. To form a successful partnership, nonprofits must seek out organizations that identify with their mission. Organizations must be willing to commit resources, make employees available for volunteer work, and work with the nonprofits to support their mutual commitment. The Mutual of America Community Partnership Award was created to encourage partnerships between public, private, educational, and social service agencies. The partnership between the Henry Street Settlement and United Parcel Service serves as a model for collaboration. The program benefits the UPS labor force, the communities the interns go home to, and the families they come from. The Henry Street Settlement gains technical expertise and the opportunity to communicate their ideas to a new audience. For this reason, the Community Internship Program, a partnership between the Henry Street Settlement and United Parcel Service, is the 1996 recipient of the Mutual of America Community Partnership Award. Thank you.